You just tell whoever she is when I find her. I'm beat up. Hello, 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 and welcome back. Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. I do apologize for the noise in the background. Um, if you hear any, I have my nephews here and they're watching a movie. I want to go ahead and just apologize for the lack of videos that I have. I haven't been able to post as much because I have been working. Your girl has been working, okay? And the job, my new job, is a little more demanding than my other job where I had more time to film and edit videos. This job is like, girl, we need you here 10 hours a day and um, you have no life outside of that. That's literally all I've done in the last like three or four months that I haven't been posting as I've been working. So I'm working on a schedule. I'm working on a schedule to film videos and edit them. So just bear with me guys. I know it's been such a long time and I do apologize and that's not the direction that I want to take this channel. I really enjoy doing this and I really enjoy you guys that do watch and do want me to continue to make videos. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate the support and I appreciate you watching. So. Mm. I don't know what this is going to be about this video today. Um, I bought new makeup, I bought some things, the things that I want to get, the things that I have, but ultimately I don't have nearly as much as I want. But I went to Ulta and I picked up some things from Milani. This is the Milani Go Desires palette. It's so pretty. I touched on it a little bit, but I didn't really do anything with it exactly. So let's go ahead and um, get into it. We this. are back and the brows are done. Eyelids are primed. We are ready to go ahead and put some eyeshadow on. I'm super excited because I haven't done my makeup in so long. Oh my god, I miss what I look like with makeup on. <laughs> ah, so um, just a quick overview so far of all I've done. Just my brows. I use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony. They look real nice. I think, I think I'm think i looking a little tan so I'm enjoying it. And then I use my Milani Shadow Eyes. What is this? Milani Shadow Eyes Stick in Almond Cream to prime my eyeshadow, to prime my eyelids. I'm um, looking crazy so far so we're, we're getting there. Shut up. So, I mean, I know initially I said I was going to try to work with this because, oh my god, it's so pretty. Look at, look at, look at. And I do want to work with it. I really, really do. But I just, I don't know if all the colors are going, like, in my head I have something, like, so pretty. And I just don't know how to make that come about. Yeah, I think I am just going to go ahead and work with the Milani palette just because it's it's so new and it's so pretty and I just want to go ahead and work with it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this beautiful matte cranberry shade. It is called Time to Unwind. This one. And I'm just going to take that and pack it on in my crease as like a, I don't know exactly, just follow me. Um, as per usual, most of my brushes are dirty. So we're going to see what we can do with the brushes that I have available to me. Um, it's a pretty decent amount, but it's mostly blending brushes. So, I'm going to take that color again. Let's call it Time to Unwind. And it's nice and matte. And we're going to pack this right here. <gasps> okay, well, that's not terrible. So, And we're going to blend that out. I feel like I totally fucked this up already like I haven't even done anything with it I'm like what the fuck is going on here we're gonna build that up a little bit more because I feel like it blended out to nothing and I'm gonna blend with this MAC 217 brush yes and I'm just um taking that same color and just building it up more because I want it to be a little more bold do y'all see this this right here, this like very prominent lot of just, uh, yeah, me too. I'm not liking how that's looking. Guys. I don't know how I can soften that up. I'm just gonna ignore it. Legit, all of my brushes are dirty. I'm gonna take the black. Let's call black tie affair. How pretty. I will say the pigment in these initially is so pretty. I'm gonna take the color True Perks from the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight palette and just kind of, this looks fucking terrible on camera. 
like i am not sure what is going on here like what's happening what sh should pop in because this is not looking good in my opinion like i'm looking crazy and i'm hoping that just blending is going to gonna help this out because I, I don't know what's going on here like i'm not loving this look entirely right now i'm not i'm looking crazy but you know what we're just gonna continue i just I, I, I don't know what to say at this point because i'm not loving it and typically at this point i would be feeling myself just about halfway and i'm just not there yet and i i i don't know what to say i'm kind of disturbed but we're, we're just gonna we're keep keep hope alive i am not loving this at all um i don't know how i feel about this so far um typically at this point i'm all over myself and right now i'm not feeling this look um it's something about the blending that i'm not liking it initially started with that cranberry shade and i really really liked um and now it's just the whole look is just trash but you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and take it off but as of right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this into a different look. Um, I don't know what happened today, but I'm too much of a perfectionist. My Virgo-ness inside is like, no, we don't, no, we're not liking this. So we're not gonna do it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do an everyday look. Okay, um, the next step is foundation. It's like not in my destiny to film a video today. I don't know, the thing is overheating now. Well, while I have it, I'm going to go ahead and prime using my Milk Makeup um, Cool Water Prime um, Stick. I don't even know if this is a primer or not, but I really like how it looks underneath my foundation. Then for foundation, I'm going to mix but two shades from Maybelline Superstay. Um, I have Cappuccino and I have Warm Sun. Warm Sun is me in the winter and Cappuccino is... Um, a little too dark, but right now Warm Sun is a little too light, so mix them both can i get an in-between shade there's perfect space for an in-between shade all right so i'm looking crazy <laughs> oh my god i look so orange on camera oh girl oh girl but just wait till i you know give it some life okay i like to highlight first and you know since we're working with maybelline foundation i mean i have other concealers and stuff but um i'm kind of honestly been gravitating more towards the fit me concealer this is in 30 honey and this is why people do their brows last but it was already on when i do my eyes if i'm just gonna do my face i'll do the brows last but um if i do my eyes first i like to do the brows just because i like to see how it's gonna frame out and then i always kind of go back in and fix them up later there we go and from here i'm not using any more cream so i'm gonna actually go ahead and just set my face so i'm gonna use my la mercier powder um i'm kind of go back and forth between this and the patrick's powder we gonna pack this on like it's a powder donut on my face okay i look dusty make sure you get your eyelids too I am not going to apply eyeshadow today. I want my eyelids to be the same. I want it to be an overall same color. The next step that I do is take my, my Black Radiance Press Powder in Golden Cashews. Now this is, this is me in a powder. I need this in a liquid, okay? This warms me back up. Now I'm gonna bronze slash contour. I'm not really gonna contour, I'm just gonna put some warmth into my face. So to do that, I'm going to use my Black Radiance. To do that, I'm going to use my Black Radiance True Complexion Palette, Contour Palette, and I'm going to take the contour shade, so dark and lovely. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This was just a little brush that I got from the craft store. All right, sorry, had to go play auntie for a little bit. What did I do with that brush? All right, so, um, shit, what was I saying? Um, contour is done and don't I look so tan like <laughs> I look so tan so sexy um the next thing that I do is blush highlight this is actually a collab with Mac and Taraji P Henson I love her and um I had to get it this is her blush in Taraji glow it is so pretty it is this is like my go-to like I just want to look beautiful Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, it's so pretty. 
Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my god. Goodness, that's so pretty, girl. Yes. One of my favorite, favorite highlighters is the Sephora Golden Hour Highlight in High Noom. The showing you on camera does not do justice as to what it looks like on my damn face. Like, on my face, she's beautiful. Okay. She real pretty. And I'm using a Milani highlight blush. Highlight brush to apply that. It's so soft and so pretty. Like, I don't think you can overdo it on this one because it's just so nice. It's just so nice looking, you know? Uh, just a little bit on the nose. I feel like I did a little too much um, contour or bronzer on the nose. That's pretty much it for the face. I'm just gonna go ahead and set using my Kat Von D Lock It setting spray and that's it at this point i would just pop on some lashes i of course i'm going to use my favorites these are the eyelore um i guess it's part of the luck luxe silk collection in marquise i don't know how to pronounce that but i think that's how it's pronounced i'm going to apply the lashes off camera because uh, it's giving me that notification that it's overheating every time i do my makeup my nose starts trying oh shit oh what the hell is going on with that Alright, I'm gonna ignore it because I don't feel like it anymore. And the eyes are done. The face is done. The only thing that I've done is my lips. And this is where the challenge comes in because I like glossy lips now. But I have so many lipsticks that I don't know always what to do. But make sure you moisturize your lips before you put something on because that affects everything. So my favorite lip liner is K. Um, part of the Karuchi collection with ColourPop. It's perfect. The perfect nude lip liner for dark skin. Oh my god. I like to slightly underline my top lip. More so at this angle here. I kind of like don't line it completely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we getting there. Oh, we getting there, bitch. I am so trying not to curse as much and it's, it's not working at all. Like. <laughs> I don't know how people do this. For my lipstick, I'm gonna use Lorac Pro Matte Lip Color in Nude. Last but certainly not least, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Milani. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna apply my Milani Hypnotic Lights Lip Topper in Luster Light right here. Ooh, ooh, that's so fucking pretty. And then right in the center. I love this so much. Oh my god, I fucking. Mm. She's so pretty. But honestly, that is it for my everyday. This is something that I can do. I mean, on camera, it took me a long time, but um, because I had to sit here and talk through everything. But in person, this could take me about 15 minutes to do. Um, I love this. I think it's super cute with the braids. The braids just add a whole nother, a whole nother level to the look. You know what I mean? Like she's just real cute for like no reason because I ain't going nowhere, okay? I'm not about to go nowhere. I'm about to sit my ass in the house and wash some clothes. But um, it's a little bit of entertainment for you guys. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I please stick around for the next video because it will be coming very soon. So thank you so much for watching if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and of course follow me on all of my social media everything is stuff e makeup i will see you guys on my next one bye